hello everyone and welcome back to my channel today i am going to be showing you guys how i turned my black curly wig into a brownish color almost like an auburn maybe i think but it wasn't the color i was going for but i'm still going to show you guys how i got this color for this hair so the color i was going for was like an auburn but it actually turned out being more of like a light brown so first i did start by using the b2w lightener and then i used about two packs of that and then i went in with the 40 volume developer and i put it into this tub because i'm going to be doing the water bleaching method it's be my first time doing it i've never done it before but i've seen people do it so i just wanted to be able to saturate the whole wig because going piece by piece with a curly wig is kind of hard when you're doing it like with like the brush and bowl method so i'm gonna do the water bleaching method so i really am hoping that it does turn out good so now i'm just mixing it in the tub to get it to like that creamy consistency that it's supposed to be at and i did use warm water um you do want the water to be warm when you pour it in there but you also want to mix it first but the warm like the warmth of the warm water is supposed to help with like bleaching it faster and now i'm just pouring in the water and like i said i did use warm water um but preferably i believe you're supposed to use hot water though like boil water but i didn't feel like boiling water so i just used warm water from like the sink and so yeah now i'm mixing it all together i mixed it till about it was like a little foamy but it didn't have like the chunks in it from like the bleach so yeah that's about don't don't mix it for too long but i did mix it till it looks about a good consistency to where i could put the wig in there and this is a dark wig that i am dying i believe it is black if not black it's a really dark brown so it was kind of a little bit of a challenge trying to get it to where how light i wanted it to go i probably should have bleached it a few times but i didn't want to like mess up the curl pattern or anything so i did end up just bleaching it maybe i believe twice i did wash it and then dip it again and um but i didn't keep it in for too long but this is a really dark wig so it was kind of hard to get like get it to the light color that i wanted it to be and like i did say this is my first time doing this so i've dipped it and then it got kind of foamy i made sure to saturate the whole wig and it was warming up it was getting hot it was heating up and yeah so i just kind of let it sit for a little bit but i did keep working like the bleach through the wig with my hands and this is just a few minutes of it being in the tub it was already starting to turn there were still a lot of dark pieces but i could see it turning lighter so i just continue to work it through the bleach and move it around make sure all the pieces are saturated and just wait pretty much but it was really hot warm so i knew it was working <laughs> I did walk away for a little bit and let it sit so as you can see it is lighter now i believe i let it sit for maybe like i don't think i kept it in there for more than like 30 minutes or so less than 30 minutes definitely but it, honestly it was not working as fast as i wanted to so i did throw in some baking soda and then some hydrogen peroxide because i did that before with one of my wigs and it did work a lot faster and it did make it lighter so I just wanted to try it again. So this was like my second time doing that. Um, it was definitely starting to heat up then. It was getting really warm. But I continued to work it all through. Um, and I did want to keep the curls. So like I said, I didn't want to keep it in there for too long. But yeah. So after adding those two things in there, it definitely was starting to work. As you can see, it's lighter. Still a little dark, but it is lighter than it was. Um, so yeah that definitely did work but that's one thing about when it's a wig you can always experiment because i've had this wig for a while it's an older wig of mine so if things would have kind of went wrong i wouldn't have been i guess too upset but i would have been upset but maybe not too upset but yeah i was willing to really take the risk with this one because i really want it to be light i was really going for like maybe like an orangish color um but i really just want to get it as light as i could get it but i still end up liking the end result
So I've rinsed the wig now and I put it back into the leftover bleach that I did have just to bleach it a second time. So this is when I bleached it the second time around because I didn't have any more bleach at this point. So I just used the leftover bleach that I had sitting in the tub after I rinsed it. And I only kept it in there for just a little bit, not too long. Um, but I also knew that while it was wet, the color would look darker. So I just really want to get as light as I could get it though, but I believe this was as light as I could get it. So it wasn't as light as I wanted, but I did still watercolor it anyway, and I used the colors French Cognac and G Ginger to watercolor it. So I put both of those inside the warm water and just mixed it around, and I went ahead and dipped the wig in there, even though I knew the color wouldn't take how I wanted it to, but that was okay. <laughs> The hair still did turn out like a really nice brown color and I knew that once it dried it would be lighter so I was still liking how it turned out. It had kind of like a golden brown type of color to it so I really liked it. So I just washed and then conditioned the hair and I did put some leave-in conditioner in it right here just so I could be sure to make sure it doesn't dry out. And as you can see, it did keep the curls. Um, of course, it's wet right now, but it did end up keeping the curls and I only had minimal shedding with it. Um, as you can see, I'm brushing it out. So I'll show you guys how much shedding I had with the wig. <laughs> I let the wig dry a little bit, mostly around like the hairline where the lace is, so I wouldn't have like any problem with like having a, to apply like a wet lace. Um, but it is curly hair, so it's not really like it's a bad thing if like it's wet towards like the bottom of the wig and stuff, because I mean I wet the hair anyway. So now I'm just applying the wig, and I didn't get any videos of me after I applied the wig, but I do have some pictures. I do have a video, I have like a boomerang I put on my Instagram that I'll show at the end of what the finished product was. So this is what the hair color turned out to be, and I actually ended up really loving it. Um, yeah, so 10 out of 10. So I definitely do want to thank you guys for watching today. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Be sure you like and subscribe and give me a thumbs up, and I will catch you again in my next video.